We're now into the core component of the course now, which is where we're looking at the various methods of proof that we often see in mathematics. We're going to cover four methods of proof here, which are going to be one, direct proofs. This is where we start with premises and work forward to deduce our conclusion. We don't do anything fancy. The second type of proof we're going to look at is a proof by contradiction. This is where you take a statement, okay, suppose the opposite is true, then deduce something absurd. The third method of proof we're going to look at is going to be a contrapositive argument. So a contrapositive argument uses the fact that if P implies Q, then not Q implies not P. And the final type of argument that we're going to look at is an inductive argument, which is where we show that something is true initially, we then assume it holds at an arbitrary stage, and then deduce the next stage from the current stage. So we'll show that it holds for the base case, that's usually n equals 1 if it's, if it's some type of formula. We'll then assume that it holds for n, and deduce it for n plus 1. Now this is just an overview, if you're feeling a bit confused by what these various proofs are or these explanations, don't feel bad, uh, we're going to go into each of them into great detail and look at plenty of examples. So let's get into it.